Hi there, my name is Lars Sørensen. We're here at the Sci Computing Conference 2016 in the middle of London, next to the water, close to the airport, in the middle of city life, talking to uh, participants of our conference, uh, keynote speakers. Uh, we even have some complete keynotes for you available on our YouTube channel, so make sure to check that out. We're going to talk to Leonard Vogt right now. Leonard, was, you were connected to the University of uh, uh, Saint, uh, Saint Andrews, That's correct. Uh, currently working for, for Google, but you uh, applied a paper, and it was about university universities as well, right? It mm -hmm. was how, how they can improve their way of testing. Can you elaborate a little bit on that, on the topic? Right, so you see a lot of, uh, there's this new movement around online education uh, and there's a massive rush to that. Um, people don't know exactly how to give uh, certificates or badges for the skills and the, the courses that they've taken. Uh, so Mozilla launched a new project in 2012 called Open Badges. Um, it's kind of a new way of, of issuing badges because it's more transparent. You can see which university it's coming from, what questions were asked, um, and basically that makes it more um, makes it easier for, for, for people to see what was asked and makes it more transparent in general. Uh, it also, I guess, it, it gives more weight uh, to, uh, to a test, right? Otherwise, I could just say, well, I took this test, and if you don't have any uh, sight on what kind of questions it could have been fairly easy and maybe it sounds right. uh, exactly yeah. so yeah. so with this new this new uh, platform um, fundamentally nothing changes because you or I could also create a badge um, but the difference is that you can see exactly who issued what and what questions were asked um, and it's all open source and it's free um, so it's a very interesting opportunity for universities uh, and educational institutions in general. Some see it as a threat, but I think uh, in general this is kind of the direction we're going to going in towards the future. Yeah. Um, so they should just embrace that, and I think uh, the paper rewrote is a good step uh, in terms of uh, building a framework. And why would they see it as a threat? Is is that if you would see it as a threat as a university, doesn't it say something about how you're organized or uh, the quality of your uh, so? so your tests? So I don't think so. I think with a lot of technology, people can sometimes see it as a threat. I think um, for online education, people are worried that um, online education can replace on campuses. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. I think they're going to become more complementary. So you see things with blended learning, so you can have courses uh, online and then also lectures um, uh, at the campus itself. Um, obviously, there's some resistance to that because people think they can you know, lose their job, basically. Yeah, that's it. Um, but I don't believe that's the case. Helen, Helen Crompton, I don't know if you've seen yep. her keynote, had yep. a very nice remark in one of the interviews. She said, well, any teacher that can be replaced by technique should be replaced by technique. Yeah, that's a pretty direct, <laughs> pretty direct <laughs> answer. But I mean, I would align to that as well. And I think uh, it would make, it, yeah, it, it, it's a good improvement. You know, I think we should also embrace these kind of new technologies uh, and, and grow with them and see it more um, uh, as an opportunity. I mean, universities can also add an additional revenue stream uh, by charging for badges as well. So it could also be an opportunity moving Extra forward. Business, yeah. 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 For sure. Is there is there a keynote or a presentation you saw that you would like to recommend to our to our viewers? Uh, so the one that you just mentioned by Helen, Helen Crompton, Crompton, she yeah. was also the moderator of my session. I found her uh, very clear in how she spoke, uh, and her answers were also very eloquent. So that's something that I would uh, yeah point the users towards as well. <laughs> Thank you very much for talking to us, Thank Leonard Vogt. And uh, if you want to see this uh, keynote that we're referring to, uh, it's on our YouTube channel. So just look for Helen Crompton, uh, also uh, on, uh, an educational uh, specialist. And we have many more content that we created here at the Sci Conference. Obviously, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, share this, put up the blue thumb, uh, and even better, join us for one of the conferences that's coming up. You can check the coming updates on the website. Thanks for watching.